To those that feel that cyberbullying is a joke, I would definitely say that it is a bigger deal than you may think that it is because it has the power to either be the difference as to why somebody is still living or somebody took their own life. Um, you really never know how you can affect a person and how big of a toll your words and your actions may take on them. Um, so I think that we just really need to have more empathy and be sympathetic towards each other and just and just love because ultimately at the end of the day we're all human and our goals are just to be the best that we can possibly be each day. So I think that you really need to think about the other person and put yourself in their shoes. Cyberbullying has become such a huge thing and almost a trend within our generation because there obviously are no consequences or repercussions that are going to be taking place due to your actions that you give to other people. Um, so it's easier to sit behind a computer screen and say hateful things, give racial comments and talk about other people because ultimately at the end of the day nothing will happen to you. It's very unfortunate. One piece of advice based on my experience um, of being a cyberbully would definitely be to know that you are not alone and recognize and don't be afraid to go ask for help and speak to people about the situation that you're going through because I think that a lot of the time what makes it so hard for us and makes our experience so so hard to get through I think is because we feel alone and we feel that we don't have anybody to talk to but there's a million people going through the same thing that you're going through and know that there are people that genuinely do love you and people who are willing to listen and people who do care. I personally care. I know exactly how it feels um, and thank God I had a support system, an amazing support system. My girls and then also my family, I had them to talk to and it made all the difference in the world. It made my days that much greater um, considering it was just an awful situation but you can also go to cybersmile.org if you need help. I think that one thing that we can do um, upon ourselves to really help reduce cyberbullying would be to educate our kids especially at a young age. I know like half the time these people grow up you never know what a person is going through or you never know their background um, or what kind of home they were raised in but I think it really does start with the parents at the end of the day and I think that they're obligated in a way to kind of educate their kids that you know we're all the same it doesn't matter what skin color you have what ethnicity it doesn't matter which religion may be your sexual preference at the end of the day we're all human we're all people on this earth um, with purpose and I definitely also feel that you need to recognize when you are bullying somebody I think that sometimes maybe people don't necessarily know or recognize it because it's, it's second nature to them and it's kind of who they become um, so I feel like you need to kind of just reflect on yourself or hopefully have people around you that can be honest with you and tell you hey what you're doing is wrong so I think that that could possibly help Well, for me, the mantra that I use to really encourage myself and have hope um, would definitely be a Bible verse. It is actually Luke 23:34 because I'm very passionate and I'm very, it's very important to me, my faith and my Christianity and my religion. Um, so I always choose to keep God first because I know all that he's done for me and I know that I get my strength from him. But it, it says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. So, you know, all I carry is love in my heart, despite the hate that I'm given. Um, and I just pray. I pray for those who hurt me.